Hey y'all, Eric here with another one. Is your string trimmer bogging out when you pull the throttle? Well, I've got a Husqvarna and it is a common problem. Not to worry, you just need to adjust the carburetor and it's super easy. Wanted to make this a super quick video so you can get back to fixing your weed eater. If you like DIY videos that are going to save you money, please like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. Tools you'll need is a Phillip or a flathead screwdriver. And then I picked up this HIPAA carb tool kit. Um, I got it on Amazon, got to my house in a day uh, with Amazon Prime. I'll leave the link below. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't make any money off the link, um, but pretty inexpensive. And uh, this tool kit really did the trick, made it super easy. I'll be working on the Husqvarna 128LD, fairly new. I uh, just got it about a year ago. Uh, if you're looking at your string trimmer, um, you're going to see the carb adjustments right here and your idle adjustment right here. But I took a picture that's more clear uh, so that I can show you in more detail how to adjust the carb. The carb adjustments are at the bottom of the photo here, side by side. The adjustment we're gonna be focusing on is the left knob. What you're gonna to wanna to do is turn on your motor and squeeze the throttle if it's bogging out. You wanna take that left knob, put in your splined tool that you got in the HIPAA kit and turn the knob counterclockwise while you're still squeezing the throttle until you hear the bogging stop. Make a one eighth of a turn adjustment, wait for a couple seconds for the motor to catch up. If it's still bogging out, turn another eighth, wait another couple seconds and just keep doing that until you fine tune it and then let the motor run uh, for a little bit while you have the throttle squeeze uh, once you think you've found the perfect spot and they'll be done. The idle screw is located at the top of this picture. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take a look at the head of your weed eater, and if it's spinning while the motor is in idle, you're gonna to wanna to turn that screw with the Phillips or flathead clockwise to tighten the screw just until that head of your weed eater stops spinning. Well, I hope this video helped. It just goes to show with the right tools and a little bit of know-how, you can do just about anything if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Bye now.